Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where today we're here on this lovely beautiful house on the cliff side, very nice. And also, we're doing a mod review because you guys seem to love mod reviews so much. So I decided to make a, another mod review. Now the next video is going to be Survivor Series. Yes, it was an ongoing, it is an ongoing series. And yeah. So make sure to subscribe and leave a like so you have more mod review videos. And also, of course, um, Survivor Series has um, shaders. So yeah, shader time for next video. And also, make sure to click the bell, the notification bell, so you can never miss one of my videos, weekly videos, such as this one. Which is probably unnormal because I make two in this week. Which is unnormal, but it was repayment. So, yeah, so let's get straight into the video. Now, as you can see here, we have the wooden mob farm, the stone mob farm, the iron mob farm, and the golden mob farm. And now, second tier is diamond mob farm, emerald mob farm, Infernal Mob Farm, and finally, we have the Almighty Ultimate Mob Farm, and also, don't forget the lasso, most important part. So, I do not know the control for actually, um, for actually getting the, uh, the crafting recipe, so, yeah, that's a bit of an unfortunate, but... We have here a wooden mob farm, the stone mob farm, the iron mob farm, and we have the golden mob farm. Now let's bring out a chest. Chesty, where are you, chest? Oh, what am I doing? Why is it called decoration blocks? Oh my god. Boom. Boom. Not great. Boom. Boom. Now I've refused to have it night time, so... Uh, time, set, day. Perfect. And now... Let's begin with the wooden mob farm with... Um, a sheep. Let's begin with a sheep. Now, of course, the first ones. Now, let's get cow. Cow. And let's get a, a creeper. So, for the first ones, we have. Oh, great. Oh. Flip, man. Flip. Why did I have to do that? <sighs> Why am I such a dumb head sometimes? Wooden mob farm, there we go, blah, 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 blah. Wooden mob farm. So, the wooden mob farm data is... It will spawn, it will generate loot every 50 seconds. It has a 33% chance of losing 2 durability on the lasso, and 66% chance to lose 3 durability on the lasso. And also, it cannot farm hostile mobs such as creepers and anything that attacks you. Except for wolves, those are neutral. So, yeah. Now, let's clap a nice little... Uh, actually, you... You need to get a sheep, and now you need to right-click with the lasso, and now you absorb it. And it will be in your inventory, or it will just take up your lasso because you're in uh, survival mode, in which, in, which guessing you are in survival mode. Now, let's put it in the wooden mob farm, and as you can see, it's very slow. It has a cool... Ender particle effect actually. It has a cool ender particle effect around the sheep, like it's getting killed by some magical force up in the sky. Yeah, I'm crazy. So, next mob, and let's get out of here. Next mob, we'll test it on, or the stone mob farm. Yep. 
Let's see his data. Cannot farm hostile mobs as well. 40% chance, 40 seconds to generate loot. 33% chance to lose one durability. 33% chance percent to lose two durability. And 33% chance percent. I'm getting this all messed up. To lose three durability. And also cannot farm hostile mobs, which is a unfortunate surprise. Now let's open that. Let's spawn a cow. I keep on forgetting to spawn the cow. Let's get a lasso because I'll get you. And now I place it in the stone mob farm. And I'll make sure that this takes 40 seconds. Yep. And now we have it. It's slowly and steadily going into the chest. Like here. So, you can place chests behind, on the sides, or even on the top, maybe. Even maybe. I don't know. But, you can put chests nearby. One block. At least it's connected to the uh, thing. So, you have to put it near the um, mob farm. It will automatically transfer to the chest that you put it on. As you can see, it just used one durability on one generation cycle. And we have raw beef, and also raw mutton, and white wool. That's cool. Now let's test our iron mob farm. Yes, yes, iron mob farm, we have it here. Now let's go get out of here, mate. So, the iron mob farm. It has, generates loot, 30 seconds. 10 seconds less, 50% chance to lose 1 durability, and 50% chance to lose 2 durability, a plus right there. And now, let's um, spawn a creeper. I forgot. Perhaps it is difficulty... Um, difficult... Oh god. Difficulty um easy. Boom. Now let's there we go. Spawn it in. Right click. And now we got the creeper in our lasso. And also this one can also farm hostile mobs. Bonus right there. So yeah. Now the same little creeper is sitting in ender might um ender dust thing, maybe. And it's almost finished. 30 seconds goes by fast. Unlike these two. Horrible. Now, let's see. Let's see. It's full generation cycle. It just lost two or one durability. And I see it did not drop anything that time. Interesting. So, of course, when you kill a creeper, it has a chance to drop gunpowder or nothing. Same as these. You ha It has a chance to drop the same percentage chance when you kill it. But it's technically not killing it, it's just killing the lasso itself, so oof. Um, yeah. Now, of course, you can, uh, toggle the, um, the, uh, lasso durability from 256, that's the default lasso durability, to like 1000 or something, so it's gonna be, or you could put it at 1 trillion, so it's gonna be like, forever running and i'm going to show you how to do that very soon now let's get that let's see how much gunpowder is in here as you can see that worked now let's go test something with creeper let's go search something how about a um a, a witch Judging by the sound. A witch. Let's go farm that up. And I don't know what these drop. I heard these drop like the most amount of loot. For Oh god, this guy. This guy makes horrible sounds. Now we have it in our lasso. And as you can see, it's significantly faster because... Let's see the data. Oh great. Let's see the data. Generates loot every 20 seconds, 
66% chance to lose one durability and 33 chance to lose two durability and also can farm hostile mobs as well. Yay, bonus. So, as you can see, it's wrapped in dust. Oh, we got redstone and we got spider eyes. I guess he is from that drop right here. Oh. Very, very nice. Very nice. Now, sadly, it cannot farm up healing potions because, you know, the witch is stationary and it doesn't, because it's so dumb, it doesn't realize it getting, it's getting its life force slowly sucked out from the ender particles. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, these really do have a significant, significant, oh, wow, I can't speak. It really does have a lot of drops. It's a witchy here. And also, you can farm redstone. Easy mining without even mining. Now, let's go get the... Oh, God. Oh. Is it a party down here? Um, slash game roll. Mobs spawning. Mobs spawning. Mobs spawn. Spawning. False. There we go. Slash game rule. Keep. Inventory, inventory true. You know what I'm gonna do? Slash kill. At e boom. What? Where am I? Oh God! Where am I? Why am I deep in the ground? Is this my grave or something? Start map. Oh, great. Button. Okay. We're back where we started. With a bunch of items. Yeah, pretty messy. So yeah, well, let's retrieve our items. Oh great, we just left out the ultimate one. Whoopsie. Ah, uh, that I thought keep inventory was true. Let's keep inventory not true. I don't know why that happened. And why is there still creepers in there? Oh my god. I thought mob spawning was false. Oh great. Slash time. Sad day. Yay. Now, let's continue with our little journey. Now, what do we have in our inventory? So, the levels progress up. We have the diamond farm that comes after the golden farm. We have the emerald farm that comes after the diamond farm. We have the infernal mob farm that comes after the emerald farm. And now we have the ultimate mob farm that comes after the infernal mob farm. Now the diamond mob farm it generates 10 seconds. It generates loot every 10 seconds. 100% chance to lose one durability. So very nice right there. And also you can um, farm hostile mobs. And I'm guessing this is made out of diamonds, so you might want to go on the di uh, um, um, a trip if you want a diamond mob farm. So let's get a chest. A chesty. Let's go. Chest. Very important chest. Now let's put the animals. And now the Inferno and the Ultimate Mob Farm. Wow, this one looks very cool. And this one looks even cooler. 
because that's n n blocks n n brick n blocks maybe, and that's nether brick. Very is that nether block? I don't even know. I'm getting mixed up as cream and crackers. Yeah, let's plop on plop on down the chest. So let's grab a lasso. Great. Lasso. Let's grab a lasso and let's kill some mobs. Where are some mobs, buddy? Oh, we have to get it. Gas. Let's get a gas spawn. Oh god. Did we get it? Yeah, boy. We got it. Perfect. So, put it in our diamond mark on. And as you can see, a significant, significant, whatever, I can't speak that word. It has a lot less, uh, it's a lot less buggy. Oh, are you okay, sir? You look like you just gone to the beach and had a sunburn. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That That's really cute. Oh boy, why is that laggy? Okay, yeah, so it j just didn't spawn. Oh god, this guy uh, seems to be having a poor day with the sunburn. Okay. Now we have the in Emerald mob farm, which generates five seconds, and 33% chance to lose no durability, and 66% chance to lose one durability. And Inferno Mob Farm, every 2.5 seconds, generates loot. 66% chance of no durability loss. And 33% chance of loss of one durability. And Ultimate Mob Farm, 100% uh, chance to lose no durability. And generates loot every 0 0.5 seconds. So yeah, I'm not going to do any more because that's going to be uh, all for this video. Now, I did say that you can change the settings so let's go to the mod options and tiny mob farm and go to configuration don't turn on that and now you have look at here lasso durability 256 and you can change that to i don't know what oh god i guess it has a limit there we go No, it's going to take forever to... <laughs> Perfect! So that's how you change it. Now, I'm not going to go anymore because that will just spend useless time. So, guys, hopefully you have a wonderful day and also you learned something. Link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And also make sure to uh, subscribe and leave a like, uh, please.